Hey guys, it's Pokeon14. What's up? I'm here with part 8 of my shiny Pokemon Diamond and Pearl walkthrough. Last time, we took on the gym leader and beat him and got the coal badge. So, in this episode, we will be heading back to Jubilife City and going to Floroma Town. But before then, and before that, I'm gonna check out Route 207 real quick. Uh, but yeah, and that one Pokemon was a Geodude, and that has a story behind it, kind of, I guess. Right here, you can find the Pokeball. But I was in Platinum coming to get the Pokemon on this route, and around here, I found a shiny Geodude. And another Pokeball right there, hidden. Uh, another wild Pokemon? Okay, I just ran into two shiny Pokemon there. One was a Geodude, and one was a Machop. And they both have a story about it, which I will tell you right after we get back to Jubilife City. See you there. Oh yeah, real quick. I cut too early. Your rival's here. Hey, Matthew. Yes, I did get the gym badge. I zoomed in on it in my trainer card last video. Yeah, Eternity City is the next place. So? Yeah, you need a bicycle. I prefer skateboard and ripstick, though. Yeah, I saw a few Pokemon. Didn't bad letter, though. Ten. Nine. Wow, who's got time to count? So, now. Uh, really gotta study my DS. Now, I'll see you in Jubilife. Okay, up here. Hey, it's Professor Rowan and Dawn. Yeah. What do you mean? This can be a little nonsense and you just can't stomach. Chill in some madness, if you will. Oh, Professor. Oh, Pokemon. Professor. Oh, Professor Pokemon. Must you be so difficult? Professor Pokemon? Jeez. We are approaching you strictly as biz as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. Why can't I read today? In return, we'll refrain from causing massive damage to your assistant. Yeah, that could really happen. Dun, dun, dun. Love the theme music here. Galactic Run. Hmm. Yeah, I have three Pokemon, as you can see. Well, yeah, I got another Pokemon off camera. Wanna see what it is? We'll see in a second. Mark 5, Zubat. Yeah, I'm using a Crobat on my team. <clears throat> but he's under leveled, so. Switching out. Pibob and Shanks. Sounds like my platinum team before. Oh yeah, and the Johnny G dude and Machop. Sorry before. I was in platinum. I had I was just getting those Pokeballs as I told you. I ran into a shiny G dude. But I couldn't really attack I really couldn't lower its health down and all I had were a few Pokeballs. In a heel ball, I think. That's what I caught it in. So and I had already beaten the second gym leader, so I couldn't lower down its health. So I like barely caught it and well, I don't know if it... Oh, yeah, I ended up catching it because I had to use Peck on my friend flop. Because as you saw in my last video, I told you that I used Pip Lock in Platinum. But whatever, that's beside the point. Yeah, so I caught it, and I was like, Ooh, yeah, call it Johnny Jeter. Woo! And then my friend came over who doesn't have a YouTube account. I don't know why I said that, but... Random knowledge about my friend. Astonish. Astonishing. Well, he was playing my Fire Red while I was playing his Heart Gold on his XL. Yeah, I really wanted to play his DSi XL. So he was playing my Fire Red while I was helping him beat Red and Heart Gold. And he was in, I forgot where, that cave above the city with the radio tower, I think. Okay, sorry, uh, I forgot. I have no Kanto knowledge anymore. Whatever, he found a shiny Machop. And he wants it because he found it. I still haven't given it to him. Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt. How's this madness possible with two of us losing the children? 
This won't do. Tend to retreat. This mission is a failure. 720 Poké Dollars. That would be ironic if you got 660 from the bad guys. Yeah, sure. Yes, they did. I'm awesome. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did know because I played this game like seven times. Well, like nine counting down in a platinum. And like 13 counting the walkthroughs I've watched of it. Keep working on our Pokedex. Yeah, I'm not catching that many Pokemon in this walkthrough. But there is one I need to catch that really doesn't matter much to my team. B Doof as an HM's life. Dun, dun, dun. Dang, already six minutes in. Yep. So silly so series can dress up their Pokemon. So now there's not gonna be a clown blocking the way. And that is what I'm gonna be showing. That's what I tried to show before, but I forgot that we had to do that galactic battle thing of a jigger bob. So right here is the lottery thing of a jigger. It has the ID thing, and if it matches all two two four seven seven. No matches. And right here is a daily battle that you can do. I'm not gonna do that now. Now let's see the prizes at the lottery corner. Fourth prize getting one number. You get an accessory background. Third prize getting two numbers of PPF. Second prize getting three numbers. Experience share. First prize getting four numbers is a max revive. And the grand prize getting all five numbers is a master ball. And talk to this guy right here. Give her a future star, the Churchwood mask. He'll give you the mask of your starter. And let's see, one more thing to do here besides the dress up, which I might cover. Probably not, though. Yeah, probably won't. So, one more thing, then going on to the route. I don't know if I'll have enough time in the video. Jeez. In here. This guy, every time you beat the an odd number gym, he will give you a new Poké Chat. This time it's a memo pad which you can draw on some stuff. So I gotta get through this route, so let's do that. Route 204. Hello, person. Looks can be deceiving. Let's fight this trainer. He's even weaker. Yeah, he is. Sure. Uh, yeah, Sad's Pokemon failed. And her Pokemon she caught herself will fail, too. Yes, I am strong. Thank you for noticing. Ugh. Yeah, this item over here I forgot to get. It's just a paralyzed heal. Okay, off camera, I just got a beat oof and taught it rock smash. So, thanks for watching this part of my shiny Pokemon Diamond Pro walkthrough. Next time, we'll be continuing and going out that light spot. See you then.